The Hyundai Sonata was the one next to its cousin, the Kia Optima, that really raised the bar in the midsize sedan segment in 2011. It was the first to introduce styling never seen before on a midsize sedan, and while it had its swoopy styling, it was a great value leader as well, offering exclusive features only seen on more premium cars. With this formula, Hyundai really looks to build upon this recipe while giving the Sonata a more premium and refined look. But with such a success and dynamic styling on the last generation, how can Hyundai make this one more appealing? Let's go ahead and find out. Now the styling I have to say is more mature this time around and it keeps its familiar lines, however the sloping roof line is now much less noticeable and that makes it easier for passengers getting in and out of the Sonata. However, this one I have is a base Sonata SE. Now most of the Sonata's base features carry over from last year's model. Now here's the key fob design. It's just a regular old key, there's nothing too special about it however it does look much more premium especially with the chrome around and it has a pretty nice feel to it and it is a switchblade key but push button start is available of course on higher end models now this one I have here is a quartz white pearl exterior with a gray cloth interior and with the popular equipment package you get a power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar Now stepping on into the interior of the new Sonata, it's much more roomy inside. It has a much more airy feel, which I love. And the access of uh, getting into the new Sonata is much easier than the last generation. You have a six-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability. Your rear view camera with guidance lines. And in order to get the rear view camera, you have to get the popular equipment package. And let's go ahead and cut on the lights and the hazards as well. Automatic driver's side window. Go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. You have halogen projector beam headlights. And down below you have your standard LED daytime running lights. Like I said, the Sonata is definitely trying to go for a more premium look by offering standard LEDs. But it is a little more subtle this time around, a little bit more chiseled. Now under the hood you will find a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine gas direct injection with fuel economy numbers of 25 in the city and 37 on the highway. Now optional is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder which is down in horsepower ratings which is pretty surprising. And then you have a 1.6 liter 4 cylinder engine that comes with the Eco model. Now in terms of horsepower ratings, this engine produces 185 horses with 178 pound-feet of torque. Pretty class competitive, but with the turbocharged four-cylinder, it's not as class competitive as this base four-cylinder model. Now competitors of the Sonata, as you all may know, are the Honda Accord, Nissan Altima, Toyota Camry, Chevrolet Malibu, Volkswagen Passat, Mazda 6, Subaru Legacy. This is a very hot and competitive segment.
Now trims range from the base SE model, then you have the sport model, and the limited, and the eco. Now base price starts at around $21,000 and can move all the way up to $28,000 for the sport with the 2 liter turbo engine. And the Sport with the turbo engine is essentially going to give you quad exhaust tips, which look really great on this car in my opinion. Now coming to the rear end of the Sonata, it looks a little bit more like an Optima in my opinion. Now EPA estimates, like I said, are 25 in the city and 37 on the highway. Total vehicle price for this particular Sonata is $23,315. And of course here's your power windows, power door locks, and your power mirrors. Soft to the touch armrest. And let's go ahead and rev it up and see how she sounds. Nice little spunky motor. Now, build quality and materials have definitely improved over the last generation. Now, while the last generation's interior wasn't particularly super cheap, it didn't have the best materials in the class. But however, this new generation Sonata is definitely more refined in its materials and build quality is definitely better. You have soft touch upper door panels and soft touch dashboard as well. And even on this base uh, Sonata SE, you even get a leather stitch uh, center console. Pretty deep center console. But you will find your USB port and aux input down here, as well as two 12 volt power outlets. Now, the last generation Sonata's controls and knobs were actually pretty well laid out and um, pretty easy to use and very intuitive. But this Sonata even got better with even more uh, easy to control knobs. It's very ergonomically correct I have to say. And you have your rear window defroster, your front window defroster. And you do have the 5 inch touchscreen display, XM satellite radio, CD player. Turn Bluetooth on from your device in order to search. Select your different media options. But an 8 inch um, touchscreen display with navigation is available. Now, new safety features on the Sonata include lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, as well as forward collision alert, all the new safety technology. Now, in terms of the steering wheel design, I particularly like the steering wheel design. Um, it's pretty stylish, in my opinion. You have your voice recognition, steering wheel mounted audio controls, of course, and your Bluetooth connectivity, hands-free calling. Now, as far as the way the Sonata drives, it's a little more tied down than it used to be. The last generation Sonata was, well, it was pretty numb and very uninspiring to drive. However, this one is definitely better. However, this car is no sports sedan by any means. Now, as far as visibility goes, it's very, it's much better than the last generation. Um, 
that's thanks to the sloping roof line not being as severe and the pillars not being as thick as well but it just feels much more airy and it's much more easy to see out of in this generation now coming to the instrument cluster it's very easy to read um, everything's well labeled but you do have a little center screen in the middle between your gauges and it's basically um, all your information driver settings as well as your fuel economy data what radio station you're on and your tire pressure monitoring and you do have some customization settings including the lights the door and the trunk and the seat and the steering and some other features now new for 2015 is a drive mode drivable selectable mode you do have Hyundai's Blue Link telematic system now a new interesting feature for 2015 is Apple's CarPlay which will integrate uh, iPhone and Siri voice commands functions into the Sonata's infotainment system which is a pretty nice feature to have it's a very unique feature that the Sonata offers now new for 2015 is different driver selectable modes um, you do have an eco mode and a sport mode now the seats in the Sonata they're very comfortable very supportive I have to say they hold you in place very well alright let's go ahead and shut it down and let's go ahead and see if the rear seat space has improved any as well as the trunk capacity let's go ahead and pop the trunk now trunk space is actually pretty good in the Sonata it's actually pretty roomy I have to say and the rear seats do fold down to maximize cargo room 60-40 split and like I said you do have the now for the most part build quality and materials do follow through in the rear the upper door panel is um, hard touch plastic but it does have a pretty nice graining to it and you have a soft touch armrest now coming to the rear this is where the Sonata is definitely improved the most is in the rear seat space it just feels so much more roomy than the last generation Sonata and that's due because of the competition the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry Volkswagen Passat have spacious rear seats and the Sonata uh, needed to boost up its rear seat accommodations now you do have a rear center armrest with cup holders 12 volt power outlet which is a nice feature to see on a base model dual map pockets as well wrapped in leather all right full manual passenger seat glove box compartment all right now while the new Sonata may have given up its dramatic styling it definitely addressed more of the important issues that it once had however this time around it definitely is a more practical choice and still one of the top picks and one of the most stylish in the class remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews